a lot of people don't realize when they're speakers, they've got to take care of their voice. Your voice is one of the tools that makes you an effective, influential speaker. For example, if I want somebody to think of me as very lighthearted, and if I'm maybe talking about something funny, my voice might be very high like this. But I also want to have the flexibility that if I want to make a very important point, I might drop my voice, slow it down, and say that important information in a very different way. Your voice is an incredible tool, and warming it up is absolutely critical. Think about the opposite effect. Have you ever been on the phone with somebody or in a meeting when you realize that it was the first thing that they had said that day? Their voice might have been really scratchy, and <clears throat> they might have cleared their voice a lot. And it's really distracting, and it draws away your attention from what's important. And that is a great presentation. So listen, there are three simple ways that you can get your voice ready to go so that you can articulate and it's warmed up and you can be absolutely awesome. One of the easiest things to do, whether you're in the shower or in the car or just getting ready, is to hum or sing. Believe it or not, you can hum, you can sing a little, sing your favorite rock song, whatever you like because singing in the shower or your car is going to get those vocal cords warmed up before you're actually speaking. So try that. Secondly, there's a great exercise that I love. It's called the peanut butter exercise. So you pretend that you've got peanut butter stuck on all of your teeth. So you want to use your tongue to get that peanut butter off, and you're going to be able to hear me. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm worried, taking my tongue over all my teeth, and, I, oh, wow. and you've got to take your tongue away in the back of your mouth and kind of suck on your teeth. And what happens is that after about 45 or 60 seconds of that, your tongue is going to be vibrating. All the blood's going to be flowing to it. You'll be able to articulate. And what happens after about 45 to 60 seconds of the peanut butter exercise is that you're able to articulate. There's blood flowing to that important muscle, the tongue. You can move it effectively, and you can really articulate. There's one other extremely important part of using your voice, and that is making sure that you are making your sounds clearly. So by warming up a couple of important places in your mouth, you can be extremely effective. There's the front part of your mouth, the lips. It sounds like this, pa 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 ba ba ba. Go ahead and repeat after me, pa 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 ba ba ba. There's also the place right behind your teeth. That's the t t t d d d area, and then there's the area in the back of your mouth, ka 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 ga ga ga. Those are three areas that your voice uses consistently, that your mouth uses a great deal to be the most effective. So try that when it's all together. Pa, 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 ba, 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 ti, 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 di, 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 ka, 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 ga, ga, ga. A few rounds of that, and you're going to be absolutely ready to do any kind of speaking so that you are clear, concise, and people can understand you. You know, you're going to be great. Use your voice as one of those awesome tools that you have to be the best bad presenter ever.